hey guys welcome back so again in this lecture as i told you previously that we're going to learn about numpy array attributes okay so we will discuss various attributes that are in in numpy okay so the first one is andy array dot shape this array attribute returns the tuple which consisting of the array's dimension okay it can also be used to resize the array okay so let us see how we can use this so I'm going to use a equals np dot array okay oh. array then i'm going to define an array here so that's one two three and uh, four and uh, let me create this as a, a 2d array okay for instance for checking out that I might be working good or not so start with four five um six then seven okay so then enter and print a dot what shape okay so a is an um np array type okay so a actually pointing to an object which is an array of the numpy module okay then this shape is also belong to that module but since a is belonging to np module that is a numpy module so by default it will use the shape from the np module okay so let's just run this and the size is two comma four so two is the number of rows and four is the number of columns okay so this is how we can use and the array that's the shape module okay so the shape attribute we have seen now we're going to do something really really different okay so what am i gonna do is uh, let us resize an nd array so let us do some resizing okay so how we can do the resizing so if i go and copy this thing down here okay let's do here and uh, let me that print a okay so what i am going to do right now is changing the size of this array so currently it is now having two rows and four columns and uh, let us for sake if we can go and convert this to let's say a dot shape to be a dot shape equals let's convert it to reverse means four comma two okay so let us run this boom now it is converted okay first we have shape of uh, two four but now we have a shape of four comma two okay so now it became four rows and two columns okay we converted the shape directly here okay so if i going to do print a and let us see it's changed completely okay so this and np array object is now changed entirely its shape is changed okay its shape was is two rows and four columns but now it becomes four rows and two columns okay so that's how you can reshape or uh, or if i want to, uh, yeah you reshape the dimension but there is also an provided uh, if I say the attribute is also provided in numpy which is named as reshape okay so you can use that directly without uh, changing the original object okay so for example if I go and write and uh, let us let us do do the same okay so I'm going to remove this here and uh, if I want to print a and uh, no let me just print be below that okay so you can see the differences of the both thank you home enter then I'm going to assign this to p and um, a dot reshape okay so reshape then four comma two for just testing so now that a is 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 going to be losing its uh, the referencing to this object okay this object that is changed here now it is going to re reference or to point to this new object okay and let us run this okay so this is our first output which is the uh, which is our first uh, array here okay 
so if you can see much more clear let me zoom in okay and after this highlighting here this part is our new reshaped array okay so that's how you can also do the reshaping directly okay using the reshape attribute so if you want to check out the dimension of uh, the array okay so how you can do this you can use endim previously the part that i could not run here i don't know what problem occurred that was n d i m n okay that was changing the dimension but this is if you want to test out the dimension of your array you have to write n dim okay so let us do this a equals n p dot uh, array but let us do something i will show you a, a function here so in python we have a range function to do task that actually creates a list okay that actually creates a list in python 3 okay and uh, for here in in numpy we have a range okay that array range from fun function okay so a range i'm going to create a range of 10 okay so it is created um let me just uh, print out this first so you can understand what happened here okay so let me just print out this thing okay so it created range from zero to the number that we write here less than one okay so whatever the number you're going to write here is less than one it starts from zero okay everything starts in computer with zero okay so zero one two three four up to nine and they that are ten objects here okay so that are ten numbers that are assigned through it okay so let's test its dimension okay so and dot dim okay and let me if i want to print this will it print uh okay error so print a dot dimensions okay we're going to oh sorry and and my fault my fault okay so the dimension of this np array right now is one okay so let us change its dimension to something else i don't know maybe it will work or not but then check it out well i'm just going to test it out. so a dot um, reshape and uh, let's do this to um how many elements do we have 10 okay so we have 10 so let's convert this to 2 cross 5 okay and uh, print a i don't know what happened uh it doesn't change it it's a one dra so it doesn't have it, it isn't able to change this because we do have our one what i say one dimension array it has only one row okay well let me no i think it will change let me do something like a equals ah yeah, yeah it, it changed it i forget it the updating value okay it created the object but it isn't able to actually create the reference new reference to this object okay a is still pointing to the old object here our old object but now we have changed it so we have to create the new reference here okay i don't know what happened but yeah now it's changed okay so that's how reshape is working and uh, let's uh, check out this its dimension okay so and dim okay two okay so we we do have our it's now become a 2d two dimension array so that's how we can change the dimension of the numpy array okay so then there is something called uh, if i do remember an attribute called uh, item size okay yeah we do have an attribute called item size in numpy array also uh, that attribute actually returns the length of each element of array array okay in in bytes whatever the size they do have so let's check out this size so a dot uh, item size okay um item size Okay, so I'm not going to use the print function. Actually, it will print out directly. So it's eight. Okay. Okay, so why this thing out 
puts 8 okay why 8 bytes because my machine is a 64 bit machine and uh, one byte consisting of 8 bits so 8 cross 8 is 64 so that's why 8 bytes so each individual digit in my this and the array object is of 8 bytes so if i want to convert this to something else okay so let's create a new list here i mean a new nd array so np dot array okay and guy i am going to change the bit size okay by default it is now using 8 byte uh, one this one object for example this zero is now of eight byte currently and i want to convert it to one byte okay so it will always use only eight bits but currently it is now using 64 bits to store this number so how i'm gonna do this uh, let's pause this video here and think about it uh do it yourself and uh, i will tell you later ah so you come back here so let's create our new and the array okay so i'm going to create it four and five okay so if i want to change the size or, or if i want to change the type of the object how i'm going to do that i'm going to use d type yes you're right i'm going to use d type and uh, to use the to change the value i have to use np dot to, to use eight bits so int eight okay to use the eight bits okay and uh, and print out the values may okay let's check the size so item size okay item size one so now these these objects in this anti array now going to use only eight bits they now only going to use eight bits for their storage not going to use 64 bits at all okay so that's how you can control the storage limit of an object okay and how you can use uh, how you can change the shape of an of the anti array okay so that's how you can do this all so if you want to convert uh, this to some float okay so let's do the same thing in float okay so how you can change the value in float so for do this so float 32 ship and now four bytes okay eight fours are 32 so 32 bits cross eight bits so we actually so that's why four bytes okay <laughs> yeah it's the, all the problem with bits so that's what uh, actually the attributes in numpy are okay and uh, if i do remember something i'm just remembering am i missing anything at all or maybe i'm missing some attributes i don't think so actually now everything is actually tell to you okay so that's what attributes are okay and uh, next lecture will consisting of the routines okay array array routines how we can use uh, routines here okay so we're going to see that in next lecture and uh, as always thanks for watching bye